Hello and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about distances that we use in astrophysics and there are three that you need to know the astronomical unit, the light year and the parsec. Handily in the astrophysics part of your data sheet they have this information there for you okay but not the definitions and you need to know these okay. So an astronomical unit, also known as an AU, is the average, ooh, I can't spell, average distance between the Earth and the Sun. And that number is approximately 1.5 times 10 to the 11 metres. And you may have seen this if you've watched any of my playlists for the gravitational field. I use that number a lot. But it is the average distance between the Sun and the Earth. Now, one light year, okay, is the distance travelled by EM waves, so electromagnetic waves, in one year. So, I know that speed is distance over time, distance is speed times time, so I've got 3 times 10 to the 8, times by 365, times by 86,400, this is the amount of seconds in one day, and I get a value for a light year as being 3 times 10 to the 8, times by 365, times by 86,400, as being... 9.46 times 10 to the 15 meters. And that is what is on your data sheet, okay? So these two are quite basic to go on. The parsec is something slightly different. And it revolves around the concept of parallax. Now, if I have a star Okay, and I've got this lovely wall of background stars here. And this is the sun. This is the earth. And this is the earth six months later. <clears throat> so I'm looking at this star here. Much like if I look at the clock at the back of the room, if I go to this position here, the clock is, so if I go here, the clock is over there. If I go to the other side of the whiteboard, the clock is over, so just trying to make sure you guys can see, is over there. And as you can see, my hand is at a different angle. Now, <coughs> I'm using the wall as a reference to so the wall, and then I'm turning to point to the clock. So I'm going to use these background stars as a reference, and I'm going to turn to look at this star here. And my telescopes are able to measure that angle there. Now what I then do is six months later I do the exact same thing and I would measure the angle there and you would hope they are the same angle. If not, you would take an average. Now. Here, because of angle rules, that is the same angle as this one here. And this distance between the Earth and the Sun is one thing we've already covered as one astronomical unit. So, a parsec is a very special, um, a special distance where this angle is one arc second. So I'm trying to find this distance here when this angle is one arc second or one over 3,600 degrees. So that angle here, one over 3,600 degrees. So what I'm going to do is a bit trick. I have got the opposite and I want the adjacent. So I'm going to be using tan theta equals the opposite, which is 1 AU. So 1 times 10, whoops, 
1.5 times 10 to the 11 over this distance, this parsec. So it's a very special distance when this angle here, the parallax angle, is one arc second. So, bagging it in, 1 divided by 3,600, tan that. So I've got 4.85 times 10 to the minus 6 equals 1.5 times 10 to the 11 over this distance. The distance is this divided by this, so 1.5 times 10 to the 11 divided by that. And I have 3.09 times 10 to the 16 metres. And on your data sheet, they have 3.08. Okay, so on the data sheet, it could be due to rounding, it could be doing to see if it's in uh, radians or in degrees. Okay, so they may have worked it out in radians instead of degrees. So on your data sheet, the distance is 3.08 times 10 to the 16 metres. Okay. So this is the idea of parallax. And you may be given parallax angles. So they may tell you that my satellite has a parallax of two arc seconds. How far away am I? So what it means here, this angle here would be two arc seconds. So it'd be two over 3,600. And you can just do trig to do it. Okay. So just to get a definite general a parsec here. A parsec is the distance to the sun when the parallax of the star is one arc second. Hence what's called a parsec, the parallax of one arc second. And that approximately equals, like I said, 3.08 times 10 to the 16 metres, or, as your data sheet says, the 3.26 light years, or, let's got the whole lot in here, oh, I'm going to write this down, uh, 206265AU, there we go, all right, so that there is a parsec, so let's actually take this idea of parallax a little bit further, oops, wrong slide, let's grab this one, Let's say I said I had a parallax of 0.2 arc seconds. This is what it means. If I drew the Earth and the Sun, this, of course, would be 1 AU, as always. It means that if I drew a triangle to this random star here, this angle here is 0.2 arc seconds which means this one here is 0.2 arc seconds, okay? So this means it's further away than a parsec because this angle is small. I can work it out. So I know that 0.2 arc seconds is 0.2 over 3,600 degrees. So 0.2 over 3,600 is... 5.56 times 10 to the minus 5 degrees. And then I can use tan again. To find this distance. So this distance is going to be 1 AU divided by tan at this angle. So this distance is going to be 1.5 times 10 to the 11. Divided by tan of that. And I get an answer of 1.55 times 10 to the 17 metres. Which, if I divide that by this number here, which is the light year, so divide that by uh, 9.46 times 10 to the 15, I get 16.35 light years. And if I divide that by 3.26, I get... 5.01 parsecs. Now there's another trick I could have done. I know that this is further away. I want to know how much by. So if I know that one, if that angle is one arc second, the distance would be one parsec. I have got five times smaller. 
So I should be, so 0 0.2 arc seconds is five parsecs because it's five times smaller, which means it must have been five times further away, which is approximately right. And you can use that information in any calculation you're doing. So this here, whoops, these three, the astronomical unit, the light year, and the parsec, these definitions you need to know for the exam. The parsec one in particular, you need to know and you need to know how to use, and the conversions between. So that there are distances that are used in space.